So yeah, I'm Elliot. I'm a graphic designer, illustrator and street artist. A lot of those projects involve working for MIM, doing the shop today, spray painting the front of that, redecorating. I started out, to be honest, doing things for friends for free. So Youth Oracle or Vandal, literally when I was year 11 at school, maybe first year of college. He used to rinse me, to be fair, back and forth all the time, amendments, doing all this stuff for free but you learn the hard way, you've got to do these things. And then as time goes on, your confidence grows, up your prices, you value your time a lot more. And yeah, now I'm at the stage where, yeah, I feel like I'm living quite comfortably off my artwork, which is something to be proud of, I guess. In Nottingham, we've got a shop called Montana, which is a spray paint brand. Maybe on a sunny day, just decide to go painting, and you've got them there on your doorstep to go and grab your paint and just go wherever you like and practice. And that's how I've developed as well, by just going and practicing in industrial areas or train track sides, that kind of thing. But those guys really helped out my development as well, pushing me jobs. Yeah, those guys are wicked, man. When I first heard of Mim, it was up at Hanning Circus. I think Nathaniel was kind of finding his feet at the time, like exploring other brands and kind of liked what they were doing. Followed the nights, ended up getting on board with some live art at one of the events. A few years later, we did a, a t-shirt design for Boardways, which kind of popped off. It was one of my favourite designs I've done, to be fair. And from there on in, we've had a really good working relationship. Now I share a studio together and help each other out in so many different ways. So I'm really excited to work on uh, bigger walls. So I've worked on something recently in Beeston where I had to have a cherry picker. Just working at a larger scale is just, like a lot more appealing as well. But it varies because I like, I like getting really minimal logo designs to do as well. Yeah, so I'm just hoping to um, keep on learning and keep on doing projects, be as varied as I possibly can. And that way I'm learning new things all the time. Another project that we're really excited to work on at the minute as well is the 10 Sessions, which is working with Konji, um, doing a comic book, which is going to be really challenging as well. It's going to be a lot of illustration work that goes with the music, but it's going to be in a, a style that will be quite different to what I usually do. It's going to be realistic portraiture, so I'm going to have to come out of my comfort zone to be able to do that. But the same way, I'm going to learn off the back of it and maybe end up doing some work on my own inspired by that. 